Hello, and welcome to Downtown. I'm your host, Robbie Haig, and I today am speaking with two people from, uh, two artisans from the sandwich area, uh, Joanne Westerhouse, <coughs> excuse me, who is the president, and Margot Mancinelli, who is the vi Visual Arts Coordinator. Welcome to the show, to both of you. I'm okay. so Thank glad you. you could be here. Our pleasure. Thank you. And of course, as you know, we started last week uh, talking with two of your other people from this wonderful new group that you've begun. And the name of the group again? Sandwich Arts Alliance. Sandwich Arts Alliance. Right. Very good. Right. How did you ever come up with getting the idea started. of getting this going? I was working on some town committees and the, on the restoration of some buildings and they would keep saying, but who's going to use this? What are we going to do with this? And we, the residents, would say, oh, this is great. We could have art shows here. We could have classes. We could have coffee house music and everything. And they'd say, that's fine. And we'd go away and come back and, and they'd say, but what are we going to do with this and who's going to use it? And after about the third time, I realized what they were really saying is there's no organized group of artists in Sandwich. There's no presence of art in Sandwich to come forward and say, this is what we'd like to do in programs. This is how we'd use this. So I stepped back and said, you know, I think it's time to form and organize and mobilize the artists. And then we go in and say, hey, this is what we want to do. Here are our programs. And I just realized there are good things that have always happened in Sandwich mm -hmm. with the arts. So it's not that things never happened before we came along. There were you know, people like Linnell and Melinda doing plays at, at Town Hall. There were always things happening but there was no organized presence, no, no way to go get funding, no way to reserve places. I think the visual arts and the literary arts had like almost no voice at all in town. Very interesting. Some performing, and that was about it. So we started with a meeting at Margot's, her inviting artists she knew, and then I went and started the literary. Christy, as she mentioned, had been talking about getting a group together. It just hadn't happened. So I think I'm just more of a, an organizer and an instigator, but, <laughs> but it's like a snowball effect. People were right. just ready to do this. Yeah. And then I went to Melinda and Todd about performing arts. Mm -hmm and got that group going. So these groups started immediately having monthly meetings starting from last March. Wow. Yes, we're ready. And I give this lady a lot of credit. She's been so ready for a couple of years to have an arts organization. So her ideas are spurring and pushing the rest of us to catch Wonderful. up. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, so you the, as they say, build it and they will come. So yes, they actually have happened. come. You know why? Because I think because I've heard that there was an attempt a couple of years ago to start it, but it was starting it from the top down. This is totally artists, Excellent. a grassroots artists deciding their programs. We, we have a board, but it's just reps from each of the, the four organizations that come together to tell us what their groups are doing. So it's totally an artist group. Mm -hmm. in, in the course of going from group to group and saying, okay, who isn't here today? Who, what other artists do you know that we should contact? I ended up building a database of artists and I know it's very incomplete, but we have 250 artists identified in Sandwich. Wow. That's, That's a group. That's huge. <laughs> that is huge. huge. And where did they go before you gathered? They, they go to West Barnstable to the Arts Association. They go to Falmouth to a writer's group. Yeah. They go to Katuit for classes. Wow. And we have such a wealth of talent of artists in town. Mm -hmm. And, and they're, they're going to teach, to show, mm -hmm. to perform elsewhere. And what a shame. S Sandwich is the, is the loser. And now, mm -hmm. since we've started doing this, they're all 
coming home. They'll always be parts of other organizations, I oh, think. Oh, of course. Because the artists all do that yeah. and join multiple groups. Right. But, but I think the town of Sandwich is going to be a lot richer for all that we're able to do in, in bringing the artists home and performing here. And mm -hmm. it's exciting. And this is why you're called coordinators. Yes, right, Marco? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I uh, paint with a group on Wednesdays. And a couple years ago, one of the girls said we should do a show. And we looked and looked and looked for a place to do a show, just to hang some of our work mm -hmm. and invite our friends in. And there was no place. And we ended up down at the Cultural Center, which is a dynamic um, facility, mm -hmm. but that's all the way down in Yarmouth. And mm -hmm. for, to get our friends to go down there on a Friday night for the opening reception was difficult. It was during the summer with fighting the traffic. Right. And, and that's when I first realized that there was a definite need for something, at least a wall somewhere that was public, right. if, mm -hmm. at, at the very, very least. Um, I had kind of heard, we, uh, Joanne and I have known each other for most of the time I've been here in town, which is nine years, and we connected in, mm -hmm. a, in a good way. I feel a simpatico with her, and I had heard she had something to do with these new buildings the old buildings that they're talking about okay. renovating. Mm -hmm. So I asked one question. <laughs> Joanne, I called her. I said, what's going on? Well, let me tell you, she <laughs> says. Next thing I know, she's at my house. We've got you know a room full of people. Nice. And that's where it started. And that was on a frigid day last winter. And from that, um, you know, of course, she brought in the other groups. Mm -hmm. uh, were, were four basic groups. Uh, we have the literary, the performing, the visual, and the friends of. And I am heading up the uh, visual arts group. We're just now at a membership level where I felt that it was time to get a steering committee going for just our group, which is just forming. And uh, we're, uh, we've already done a number of exhibitions. Mm -hmm. We've been at the library pretty much a constant presence because that is uh, the hub of Sandwich. Very good. Uh, mm -hmm. So it all happens there. It, it, it So far we yeah. also have uh, exhibits in the lobby at the Cooperative Bank of Cape Cod on Katuit Road. They have been uh, willing to give us a space on a continuing basis. Wonderful. So we change out the show there. And we just got the opportunity uh, to hang some work in the vestibule entrance area of the Pilot House, which is another, it's a restaurant here in the marina area that's busy and vibrant. Excellent. So um, we, we're hoping that people um, start to brand us, see that, see that we are very visible, that we have a lot going on. Uh, yesterday, Monday, Monday, so two days ago, we started our first uh, classes, oh, good. and we are yeah. excited about that Very because good. it's not only bringing new work, it's had, allowing us to work together. And, and you're, you're a painter. I am a kind of a jack of all trades, okay. but a master of none, for sure. <laughs> well, it sounds like you're mastering this group quite well. well uh, how, what, are, what kind of numbers are you talking about that are in your group? I have uh, close to 70. That is, and, that's and a lot of people. It, it is a lot of people. I'm, uh, <laughs> you I'm, corralled them. <laughs> well, no, they, they came can't, forward. They come, they wow, come to wonderful. us. Yeah. They hear about it. They see that we are exhibiting work. Mm -hmm. At this point, I have my, for lack of another word, maybe hardcore group, where they are people that, uh, most of the people that are in the group are working at their craft all the time. It's not something that they do once in a while. Very good. They're working it. So they have amassed an amount of work. They're very interested in getting it shown someplace. Wonderful. Very interested in the opportunity to try to sell it. Um, and is it oil? It's everything. everything. It's everything. And I'm mm -hmm. trying very hard to not make it a painter's group. Oh. Uh, I, I want it to be the creative process in total. 
So it's very difficult at this point to be able to do much with three-dimensional work mm -hmm. because we don't have a home. Uh, you need to be able to store clay. You need to be able right. to, you know, there's certain equipment involved with sure. most of the three-dimensional that's not so portable. Mm -hmm. So that p component uh, is only probably going to come into our sphere once we have a home. Although you've done a wonderful job, she's had an, an exhibit in the lock case at the library that was three-dimensional, and so there there was jewelry and collages and and carved Glass gourds and, and, and yeah, good. blown glass. Very good. Um, My brain would not have gone there when you said uh, that. Yeah. Very good. Well, I think that's yeah. something we're going to fight for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and there and I understand that because there is a certain amount of truth to that. When you don't have a home, right. it's you know it's limited. We right. tried real hard to facil facilitate. Excuse me facilitate a uh, sculpture workshop uh, class this this time around and we just couldn't find a place where mm. we could store uh, the materials that people would need. Sure. But so, I think we'll be fine for February because we have time to look for it and we have some possibilities. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. I certainly encourage all 3D artists uh, to to try to figure out a way with us mm -hmm. so that we can exhibit their work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some stands. There's no reason why we couldn't facilitate showing some of the mm -hmm. work. Um, I really would like people to understand that we're, I talked about the level. We right, right now we have that core level. I'm hoping very much so that we can build from there to people who are interested in trying something. Mm -hmm interested in maybe taking a workshop to see if they can do basic drawing, Wonderful. if they can maybe um, learn how to sculpt or how a piece of jewelry might be put together or a stained glass. Mm -hmm. That's the next level that and I really like want you to say, target. To do things like that you need a home. But, but we but we'll doing, get by. We're doing yeah. pretty yeah. well. It would be nice if you had a permanent home. Well yeah. it would. And there's no doubt about it. It yeah. would make a difference. But I don't think we could wait for that no. because I Good. think there are things we're we're an organization not about a building we're mm -hmm. an organization Good. for the artists and this Saturday at Fall for the Arts uh, up in Town Hall are 2D and 3D artists demoing their work so we do have painters and stained glass workers and and so it is a, a huge collection of artists. Wonderful. Um, one of the things I was thinking about when, when you were talking is when we started, people would come and listen. They wanted to hear what we were about. They'd show up. The first meeting we had that was an open meeting at the library, we had 50 people show up on a snowy night. Wow. They wanted to listen, but they weren't about to join just yet. Mm -hmm. And so the question I kept asking myself is, why should they join us? What are we going to do for the artists? And I think the main things we're trying to do is give them visibility and also give them a chance to earn money at their art. Mm -hmm. Because these people are not dabblers. They're mm -hmm. not, although we want to encourage beginning artists, these are people that are trying to earn a living at their art. Mm -hmm. And I think lots of times people think, well, artists should donate their time or be happy that they're showing something. And one of the things we're focused on is if we use artists in our program, they should be paid. If we use our membership money, it's to rent a place so we can make people visible. So I think. I think in the beginning people were watching and waiting to see what can we do for an artist. Right. Um, and what we can do are the things that she's done is have visibility to their work in the visual arts by showing uh, Sandwich Fest, we had the musicians performing and we paid them to perform. Mm -hmm. The literary artists will be paid at um, the Fall for the Arts Festival, all the artists will be because it's recognizing their art has value. Excellent. And I think that's, that's a huge part. The idea is that if we band together, can't we do more for each other 
than if each person is struggling on their own to try and book a place and scramble to be seen. Um, that by, by banding together, we're now 127 artists in six months. Wow. Um, and only three of those months were we offering membership. We didn't in the beginning while we were trying to define what were we about yeah. and what mm -hmm. were we trying to do. Yeah. But now there are so many chances for artists to be seen and to be heard that they are coming and saying, fine, good. If this is what you're about and what you're trying to do, then I'd like to join. And then we, in turn, can use the money to do things for the artists. And this weekend, you have something yes. Ha yes. wonderful happening. It's, it's very much a day of the arts in Sandwich. It's called Fall for the Arts, mm -hmm. and it's in conjunction with what the Arts Foundation is doing for the month of October all across the Cape, is Arts Month. And so we have a really full day. The literary artists are at First Church of Christ, and all day long they have these wonderful symposium. It's workshops, it's panel discussions, and there are over 20 artists or authors that are participating. Wonderful. Then over at Town Hall, we have two different visual arts events going on. There's an art exhibit, a member show, that Margot and her group has put together. There's also Arts in Action, which was done once last year and was very popular, where the artists are actually doing their work. You can come talk to them about, well, how do you do stained glass that way? Well, how do you paint nice. with oils and acrylics? Right. And then uh, over at Deacon Eldred, we have an outside event happening. So we have musicians performing all day. We have food trucks, we have an art tent full of artists that are selling their work. We have a pumpkin carver. We have the high nice. school has two different groups. The we have the band boosters of the school system that are doing a fundraiser and offering baked goods. We have the key club is setting up and have a donut on a string game or something. Uh, but one of the highlights is this is 10 to 4, all the things going on. And Come that's back. all free. Yes, all yes, free. All free. All free. Um, we wouldn't refuse donations, though, if they Good. were. <laughs> it, we also have um, an information table at each location with information on the classes, with information on uh, membership, the concert series we have. But then come back in the evening, because at Town Hall from 7 to 9, we're having a concert that's Cape Cod Carib is doing Afro-Cuban Afro jazz. And so I said, mm -hmm. okay, what is that? That's interesting. And people said, think Dizzy Gillespie, think oh. that kind of music. It's very lively. And so we have a quintet with a vocalist performing. We'll take a break and Carol McManus and a mystery guest will be performing a one-act play. They're doing readings called Lemonade about oh. two elderly women who are friends that decided to set up a lemonade stand along a highway, not realizing that each of them had spiked the other's <laughs> lemonade, which prompts all kinds of relaxed discussion. Very and then we'll go good. back and have another set of music. Very nice. So. It sounds delightful. Now, my question to you, is this only for the people of Sandwich? Absolutely no. not. No. The membership also? Oh, absolutely. It's open to all. Mm -hmm. and, and on that point, which I definitely would like to make during this discussion, is that we are working hard also to include the children. We have a, a workshop coming up at the library for five to seven-year-olds. We have a Saturday um, group of, I shouldn't say group because they're going to be handled singly, but a, a, you can subscribe each month for teens with block printing. Um, we have some very much beginner classes, a basic drawing class. We really are, our mission is to enrich the community. Excellent. So it's across the board. It includes mm -hmm. all levels uh, from beginners to advanced experts. And we do absolutely have some advanced experts. There are Wonderful. some people who are right at the top of their game. But uh, it includes the community. I yeah. taught art for 28 years. 
I always wanted. I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, huh? <laughs> well, I, I always wanted to take the beginning levels of the courses. I love turning people on to the creative process. Wonderful. I just, it's, it's what I do. It shows. Huh? It's what I do. I That's just wonderful. love it. So this whole uh, immersion here that we've got going into the arts and the arts in the community is absolutely uh, a lifelong goal of mine, and I'm just so excited that it's getting going. Excellent. The, in talking about the community, the, we're also going to attend a STEM uh, group forming that's about arts and humanities. And one of the things we've tried to do is work with groups. We don't want to duplicate things that people are already doing in the community. Sure. So we're working with um, the Glastown Cultural District Committee. We're working with the trustees of Town Hall on their programs. We're working with groups, uh, sandwich artisans we've contacted, so that we're trying to work together and make stronger programs. We work with the Chamber. They Absolutely. allowed us to launch our effort at Sandwich Fest, which was great because we ended up adding live music and some things to what they were doing, Good. and they in turn already had the following of this huge group. Isn't so, it amazing how we all need each other? Yes, yes, yes. absolutely. And that's, that's what's Community. been working. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And speaking about the chamber, we hopefully, um, we're putting it yeah. together, but we're looking forward to a small works show that will be part of the house tour that, the, uh, that is part of the Holly Days. Yes. And the chamber has that event each year, and we're joining in with them and doing a, a segment, having a little boutique of uh, $150 and below mm -hmm. items for sale that the artists and the, and the artists are contributing to put in this boutique for sale. Uh, I believe that date is December 6th. Right. Excellent. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, we also have a, a big day on March, a weekend in March that will be in Town Hall. Pardon me. Uh, we'll be in Town Hall and we will have hopefully work shown from our classes, Excellent. student work, and uh, so. Well, we, there's no end, is no, there? No, there isn't. And that's We're where I'm going. It's, it, there's so much happening and will be happening. Right. right. One, one of the things we haven't talked about, you're probably wondering what other programs we have going. <laughs> I would love <laughs> to know what other programs you um, have. I, I think I'm amazed at the amount of programs that we have going so rapidly. Right. And so one of our ideas was let's not reinvent this first year, let's take things that have perhaps been done years ago or elsewhere and bring them to Sandwich. Mm -hmm. So we have a play coming up in November that Carol McManus is going to direct called Ely, Ely Masonary. And that'll be for three nights at Town Hall. But we have a whole concert series. I am so proud that we're able to offer this kind of thing. I was talking with Amy Lynn Barber, who you may have heard of. She's a world famous percussionist, and she just happens to live in Sandwich. Oh, isn't that wonderful? She had done a show also out at the Cultural Center, and I went out to see it, and I thought, here's the, the organizer of the show, the lead percussionist, she's from Sandwich. Why am I out here? Right. And she did a piece written especially for that show by David Cohen, who is composed all over the United States and for film, for everything, for the Cape Cod Symphony. He lives in Sandwich. Why are we out here? So one of the first thoughts was to talk to Amy and try and bring that show. In the course of discussing this with her, I said, we'd also love to have you curate a series for us a concert series and bring it to Sandwich. There's, there's yeah, not definitely. been much music mm -hmm. in Sandwich. And so she said, I'd be thrilled to. So the first offering was in September at First Church. We had the Percussion Plus project, which was, I think, a bit eye-opening for a lot of people that came and didn't know what to expect. Very, very lively, very interesting, a, a wonderful program. Good. In addition, we have four more uh, concerts coming up. 
December 5th is Solstice Singers, which is a Woods Hole group. Yeah. It's Renaissance and medieval music. They come in costume. They have an uh, um, instrumental exciting. group. Amy put together this wonderful program that spans all genres of music over the course of these five. And we'll have uh, flyers on our concert series together. But we said December, there's the carol singing and the lighting of the tree on Friday night. Mm -hmm. There's the house tours on Sunday. Nothing's happening Saturday night. Wow. Why don't we have our concert December 5th? That makes a complete weekend for the chamber to be offering. Excellent. So we're trying to fit in with things like mm -hmm. that. Then in February, we have the Cape Cod Sax Quartet coming and performing at Town Hall. That's Bruce Abbott, who has a great following out Brewster Orleans way, and we're excited to be bringing them. That, I think, is going to be a wonderful concert. Excellent. Then um, in March, March 12th, we have from the Boston Arts Academy, there's a choral ensemble that just won a competition that Channel 2 sponsored, Sing That Thing, and there were groups from all over Massachusetts that were performing. They're the winners, and we're bringing oh, them. wonderful. And yeah. then um, in, on April 23rd, there's a chamber group from the North Shore called Eden's Edge, and they'll be performing. Wonderful. But, but one additional point, I know I talk too much. But, no, you don't. Uh, um, <laughs> we, we're here to talk. <laughs> one of the things that Amy is doing is to try and pull the community in each time with each concert that's happening. When the right. choir ensemble comes from Boston Arts Academy, she will be working with Melinda Lassett from the high school to invite the choral group to come sit in on the rehearsal. So mm -hmm. then why don't we invite, if we're having it at First Church, why don't we invite the, the chorus from First Church. Right. Then how about St. John's and the other churches in town? Isn't it wonderful? And to get them to be part of this whole process. Mm -hmm. And I'm so pleased to hear you mention Melinda Lassett from the high school because yes. I was waiting for you to talk about reaching out to the high school also. Right, right. It's, it's just a wonderful. Yes. And along with looking at some of the plays that Carol McManus is going to be doing this year, mm -hmm. we're talking, we want to invite Karen Slagle and Linda Paltineri, I think. There, there are amazing people in the school system right. who are doing a lot of things with the children. And what we want to do is work together with them. Um, Margo's been talking to Diana, Diana Ganju. Um, to try and bring some of the art from the students to our shows so that they are Excellent. represented. I was, I was and at get the, them young, yes. like you well, said, absolutely. teaching. Absolutely. Yes. Very, very important. I was at the Plymouth Art Center taking our posters around to advertise, and they're doing a wonderful show with the uh, young students. There were 13-year-olds and 16-year-olds showing their work, and that's the kind of thing Margot's trying to promote, too. Excellent. Let's, these, they're trying so hard to develop programs, so why don't we work together and help each other? That's the way life should be. Yeah. Yes. That's what we're here for. Cooperation. Yeah. And uh, as I told you, a half hour goes by very, very fast. It it, yes, it is. Oh really? Goodness. Have we done that? <laughs> oh it's goodness. absolutely wonderful wow. hearing you talk about this new uh, collaboration. Yes. And uh, next week, we will have another uh, uh, leg of this. Uh, we're going to keep trying to get it out there, and, and we'll keep bringing you on yeah. so you can let us know how it's furthering. I think it's fantastic. Thank you. It's, it's, exciting. it's exciting to be part of. I'd like to mention that we have a wonderful website, and uh, the way to reach that website and get current information about what we're doing mm -hmm. is sandwichartsalliance.org. Excellent. And, uh, there's a lot of information there, dates, times, uh, facilitates getting tickets for the concerts. 
Wonderful. It's all there. Yes. Sandwichartsalliance.org. And I hope in the near future, when we're talking again, you'll be telling us about your new home. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that? <laughs> that would you. be a pleasure. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. And okay. thank you all out there for watching. Uh, this is Robbie Haig, your host for Downtown. <laughs>